Hi, this is Dr. Doresti with the Cranial Release Technique. And I wanted to put this video out midweek because I've been getting so many questions and I just got another one this morning about the Cranial Release Technique and does it involve using balloons in the nose? So I'm here to tell you, no, absolutely not. In the world of the Cranial Release Technique, as taught by me, there are no balloons in the nose Cranial release is done from the outside with the patient typically laying on their back on a table and the doctor approaches or the practitioner approaches the, the cranium from the outside. There are no balloons. There are no other instruments that we use. So again, the purpose of the cranial release technique is that these 22 cranial bones are moving ever so gently. And when those bones misalign, twist, whether it be from trauma, from stress, from emotional issues, from sporting injuries, from the birth process, whatever it happens to be, those bones shift, that movement is restricted, and therefore that negatively impacts the brain the spinal cord, the central nervous system, which thereby negatively impacts you and how you function. Again, just to reiterate, no balloons in the cranial release technique. I know that I get a lot of comments and questions about balloons and do you need extra supplies? No, you need your hands <laughs> and a table. That's basically it. And even there's, there's a way that we teach it so that you can apply the cranial release technique for someone in a seated position, if they're in a wheelchair or they can't lay, lay down. There's also a way to do it to children and infants. There's also a way to do it, God forbid, if the patient were in a hospital bed, a nursing home, or even on the floor, you could do it that way. But the typical, the typical cranial release technique is done with the patient laying on their back, on a table, chiropractic table, massage table, whatever type of table you use. And again, the hands of the practitioner on the outside of the skull, that then allows the cranium to open from inside out, restore the primary respiratory mechanism, and let the body function optimally. And that's what cranial release is all about. It's optimizing function. For those of you that would like to learn more, you can go to the website, that's cranialrelease.com, all one word, cranialrelease.com. There is a button there called Online Training Program, where you could click that, and if you're a practitioner, you could learn how to apply the cranial release technique, and you can learn in the comfort of your home or office by enrolling in the online program. This is Dr. Doresti with the Cranial Release Technique, cranialrelease.com is the website. Thanks so much. No balloons. Not in cranial release. There may be other techniques. I don't know enough about it to even comment. So I don't want to say anything positive or negative. I've never experienced it. I've never seen it. I don't know anything about it. But certainly in the world of cranial release, no balloons. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Adios, my friends.